In this new series, I shared my favorite top handle bags, favorite evening bag, as well as favorite crossbody bag. And today I'm gonna share my top shoulder handbags in my collection. Hello everyone, my name is Amy, and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I have a total of five handbags that I consider to be my best shoulder bags. The first one I'm gonna share with you is the Speedy B. So I have right here my Speedy B 25, with the beautiful patina. Here are the detachable shoulder straps. Now with the Speedy, yes, it is also a top handle bag and yes, you can also crossbody it. But I find that with the Speedy B in particular, the best looking way to wear it is by the shoulder, not crossbody. In fact, I don't really like the Speedy B crossbody. It's just too bulky, it bulges out and it's not that comfortable. It does dig in also over time. I feel like on the shoulder, even if it's a little long, I like it more. I don't mind it by the top handle, but I don't consider it to be my most comfortable top handle bag. The Speedy is one of my least worn bag. In fact, I don't know if I even wore it this past year. And it's not in any way the fault of the bag because it is a classic and it's lovely, but it's just not really my style anymore. And it's not really a size that I prefer to wear in general. So that's why it's my least worn, although it is a really good classic. So I do hesitate letting it go. I think we can all agree that the classic flap is the perfect shoulder bag, especially because there's no real other ways of wearing it. Whether you go with the small or the medium or the jumbo, I feel like the small and medium, you can sometimes crossbody it if you're really petite, but with the jumbo, if you crossbody it, it will look so ridiculous, no matter how tall you are, because the straps are so super long. Therefore, the classic flat for me is the perfect shoulder bag and it looks the best when worn on the shoulder. And I have right here, the single flap jumbo flap. I don't wear this a whole lot either. I guess I'm not really a shoulder bag person. Like I said, I much prefer a top handle with some options. The Chanel Gabrielle is definitely one of my favorite handbags. It is also a great, great shoulder bag. Of course, you have multiple ways of wearing the chain. You can crisscross it, wear it the V-way, or you can wear a super long crossbody but I feel like the best and the most comfortable way is still just on one shoulder, simple, classic, and just elegant. The small size in particular is my favorite, but I do like the size up from this, which is the new medium size. That one looks really, really nice too. But for me, the small size is more than enough and definitely one of my most favorite style. It's very understated, very edgy, but just so comfortable as well. So my reissue is from last year's Metier d'Art collection, which is very special, very limited. It is the graffiti in the gold, and it is in this beautiful croc embossed leather, and it's really, really stunning. In my opinion, this bag, even though you can crossbody it, it still looks the best when you wear it on the shoulder, just a little short, doubled up. It's so pretty. It's great for date night. It just looks so stunning and it's so easy to dress it down as well as dress it up. I have here the Coco handle in the mini size and this one is in also this beautiful blue caviar leather with snake skin. So this is one of the last collections where they still had exotic handles. And because of that reason, it is also fully lined in leather and it's stunning, it's beautiful. For me, the Coco handle is an amazing top handle bag, but it is also an amazing shoulder bag because the chains on these ones are a little short, so it's a little challenging to wear crossbody, but as a shoulder bag, it actually is really, really nice. The shoulder strap do tend to fall off quite easily, especially when you wear a larger coat. But in the summer, when it sticks to your skin, it's perfect, which is the reason why I tend to wear my Coco handles more in the summer because I am usually wearing a pretty thin layer or my shoulders might be bare and it's the perfect shoulder bag in those cases. For me, I definitely prefer a top handle, but I do like the option of wearing something on the shoulder if I need to go hands-free. With the exception of the Gabrielle and the reissue and the classic flaps, those three for sure, I feel like they are meant to be shoulder bags and they are most comfortable and best looking when worn on the shoulder. Which are some of the favorite shoulder bags that you own? Let me know down below. And if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. And I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.